An announcement to extend free lunches at school turned into a playground scrap between the two major political parties today. Labor is promising to extend the program and claiming National wants to cut it back to bread and milk. Here's our political reporter, Amelia Wade. There were no chippies on the side of these burgers today. Got to get your greens in. But there was a chippy serving them up. Chippies lunchbox. <laughs> and promising a lot more lunchboxes, $650 million worth of them. If re-elected, Labor will extend the free and healthy school lunches programme right the way through the next term of Parliament. And serving up that promise with the sign of an attack, saying National could cut the programme back to white bread and milk. Hipkins says that you're going to swap out multi-grain bread and put white oh bread in Oh my goodness. I mean, honestly, I mean, like, make sure that they're, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Look, it's an election campaign. There'll be a mix of us promoting what we're going to do and also highlighting the risk of a change of government. What I have said consistently is that we support the programme. Hipkins has spent the last few days on a campaign roadie through the Lower North Island to help Kushla Tangairi Manuel keep Ikaro Rafati red. I'm not a fly-by-night visitor that's just going to drop in, have a cup of coffee with them and hopefully get, a, get their vote. I'm going to commit to them. They've asked me to show up. I've showed up. And to help his rising star in snazzy sunnies, Kieran McAnulty, hold on to Wairarapa, which Labour flipped in 2020. I normally vote Labour, but yeah, there's a few things that I'm... Uh few issues, yeah. It's the worst government in living memory. <laughs> um, will you be voting for Kieran McAnulty this election or not? Probably not. Looks like there's still quite a bit of work to do here. I don't think I'll win with the same majority as I did last time. Uh, I don't think anyone would think that. Could a wealth tax have made that work any easier? We're not implementing a wealth tax, it's as simple as that. A poll commissioned by the Better Taxes for a Better Future campaign and released exclusively to NewsUp asked how much tax people earning over 180 k and who own assets worth over $5 million pay. 61% said they should pay more, 26% thought they should pay the same and just 4% said they should pay less. But drilling into the political persuasions of those who want the wealthy to pay more, 75% of Labour voters, 84% of Greens and this is interesting, about half of Nationals and half of Axe voters want the wealthy to pay more tax. Despite that support, Chris Hipkins is standing by his decision to rule out a wealth tax. No, I ruled it out because I looked at it closely and I decided on the balance of the advice that we got and on the balance of the analysis that it wouldn't have worked, it wouldn't have been implementable. Hipkins needing to take a close look at everything. Bloody big up close. Given Labour could be staring down the headwinds of change. Amelia Wade, News Hub.